malinaw naman yan. Dadalawa lang naman ang utos ng Diyos. Eh. Di ba? Mahalin mo siya. Mahalin mo yung kapwa mo. Pag mamahal ba sa kapwa yung <laughs> mag-introduce ka ng mga ganyang bagay, i-advocate mo yung abortion, i-advocate mo yung safe sex marriage. That's not doing your, your fellow men good. That is anti-human. It's uh, not merely faith. It has something to do with uh, my concern for humanity too. Even the laws, they're still there. I initially became interested in, in advocating for safe and legal abortion rights. Um, when I handled one case of a young woman, she was 18 years old, uh, but her mental age was around five years old. She was gang raped twice and she became pregnant as a result of the rape. So I was just thinking she's just like any other small uh, kid um, who does not really have um, the capacity to take care of the child. <laughs> so ever since then, I said, uh, there really should be access to safe and legal abortion in the Philippines. At the very least, for life and death issue, rape, uh, fetal impairment. But personally, I believe that the scope should be uh, for whatever reason the woman might need an abortion. Lahat ng biological species would always try to maintain their numbers, no? would always try to perpetuate themselves. Tayo, we have reached a point na we would want to annihilate ourselves. Basically, what we're upholding is a woman's right, a woman's right to live a healthy life, free from disability, if she does not die from, from complications, from abortion, uh, she might suffer some disability which will affect her throughout her life. Giving birth to children that cannot be taken care of properly is also an issue that should not happen. To me, clearly, um, when, when someone says that she's not prepared to carry on a pregnancy to term, um, then she's the only person who should decide for herself. Not the church, not any kind of religion. Uh, and to me, uh, her morality should, the one, should be the one that should be uh, respected. What happens to the rights of the baby if you only take care of the rights of the woman over her body? You know? Uh, parang, parang gusto mong pagbigyan yung sinasabi mong karapatan ng kababaihan, pero yung karapatan ng batang wala namang kaalam-alam no? na, 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 na nabuo dun sa kagustuhan mong practice, ay eh, papatayin mo. So it, it, it doesn't make any sense no? to even think of it as a, human, uh, as a women's rights issue. Oh, kasi may right din yung nando doon eh. For example, if it's a rape uh, and she became pregnant as a result of the rape, that would be torture, clearly. And anyone who does not, to, does not want to carry on the pregnancy to term uh, would be tortured. Well, rape, but it's not going to be as if <laughs> every time you get rejected, you, you, you rape the woman. No? Ang sinasabi ko dito, kung ayaw ng babae na mangyari yon, pwede siya magsabi ng no at walang magagawa yung lalaki. Ano pa yung magiging problema doon kung ipanganak niya yan? Kung ayaw niyang alagaan dahil produkto ng rape yun, pwede naman niya ipada. There are reports from adopting uh, institutions where they are saying that uh, some of those Children who became, uh, who were as a result of rape, uh, are not being adopted as well. If you take a look at other countries, they pass certain exceptions, like for example, life and death, uh, rape, fetal impairment. But they have also found that limiting uh, to certain exemptions is by itself discriminatory against women. Why? Because you would still see a lot of socioeconomic reasons where women induce abortion, and that would deny access to these kinds of women. So uh, hopefully, um, hopefully legislators and the public would heed the call that uh, it should really be abortion 
uh, upon demand of, of women. Yung lipunan naging mapagpabaya no? at hindi niya tinulungan yung mga babaeng ganyan. Tuloy-tuloy lang din yan. So, hindi sagot na ililegalize mo yung abortion para mabawasan yung namamatay na mga babae dahil dun sa maling practices ng abortion, di ba? Ang kailangan natin, maglagay tayo ng resources para dun sa mga babae na, na kapag ka nabuntis, merong tatakbuhan. No? Nasasabihin mo na, okay, uh, sige, produkto man yan ng rape or whatever circumstances, basta ituloy mo lang yan, aalagaan ka namin. Pagdating dun sa dulot, nakapanganak ka na. Kung gusto mong ipa-adapt, sige. Kung gusto mong alagaan on your own, sige, tutulungan ka namin. Yun naman ang trabaho ng gobyerno.